Welcome back friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video tutorial we will be talking about the difference between generalized transduction and specialized transduction. So let us see, transduction in a sense is the process by which two bacteria share the genetic content between themselves in the same generation. So this is a called horizontal gene transfer okay this is all lateral gene transfer by this fashion uh, one bacteria let me just change the color here one bacteria with the genetic content transfer that content to another bacteria of the same generation okay with the help of virus that is known as transduction. There are several ways that two bacteria share genetic content, but when they involve virus particle to involve and transfer the gene or genetic content from one bacteria to the other bacteria, it is known as transduction. Now there are two types of transduction, generalized and specialized. In a broad way, we can tell in generalized transduction, it is only the transfer of pure DNA content or genetic content from bacteria to the other one. While in specialized transduction, the genetic content that is transferred from one bacteria to the other, which is not packed as not packed as pure bacterial DNA. That is the major difference between generalized and specialized transduction. So let us see. Generalized transduction, the transfer and packaging of the pure bacterial DNA into the virus. And you remember what kind of viruses infect bacteria? Bacteriophage. So bacteriophage viruses will infect one bacteria and then when the phage viruses will be generated inside that bacteria, it will infect another one. That is how uh, they transfer the gene. In specialized transduction, the transfer and packaging of small percentage of the bacterial DNA with viral genome itself. So it is not exactly pure bacterial DNA to be packaged, but small part of bacterial DNA remains there. That is a special case and also a rare case. Let us look at the processes in much more details in the mechanism of generalized and specialized transduction. Let us look at first about the generalized transduction. It starts with this bacterial cell which is the target bacteria for the infection by the bacteriophage virus. So phage virus infect this bacteria and if you look at here the bacteria contains the, its own genome that carries two different genes A plus and B plus. That means both these genes can be expressed properly and they can produce the products of gene A and B in the bacteria. Now once phage affecting this or infecting this bacteria, it is injecting its own genetic content inside, in this case it is a DNA. After that, this phage DNA will start breaking down the bacterial genomic content. So we now have everything fragmentized inside the target bacteria. Now after this fragmentation is done and phage particles start to replicate and produce more of their own DNA content inside the host bacteria, then it is the time for packaging. So phage particles continuously package all those DNA fragments in the phage head. During this packaging, most of them receives the bacterial DNA which is trans, I mean which is replicated. But some of the bacteriophage head receives a portion of bacterial DNA during the packaging because the cell contains bacterial DNA fragments as well. So some of them can pick up this bacterial DNA part. For example, here they pick this A plus gene from the bacterial DNA. And now once all these phages will be released, these phage particles will be released by killing the bacterial cell open. And one of those phage which carries the A plus gene, that bacteriophage may infect some other bacteria. So when that phage infects another bacteria who, ha who neither have A or B gene present, but now as this phage particle infecting that bacteria, this A plus gene is present in phage head. So once they inject their DNA into the host target 
bacterial cell that A plus gene will be donated to that target cell. So now earlier this bacterial cell cannot produce either the product A or B but now as they receive this A plus gene from the phage they can produce products related, related to A or, or transcribed I mean products that are coded by A gene. So that is how they can share genetic component from one bacteria which is this is one bacteria number one and this is the second bacteria bacteria number two. This is how the transduction occurs involving a bacteriophage. This is known as generalized transduction. As you can see we told the packaging of the DNA is almost pure. So the DNA that is packed see one of the phage get almost pure content of bacterial DNA. If you look at the second type or specialized transduction it starts with more or less the same type of situation where we have the bacterial cell inside we have two genes A plus and B plus present so they can produce the product A plus and B, A and B products inside. Now what we know a bacteriophage infects this bacteria and in this case the phage is not lytic type of phage it's lysogenic type of phage. Remember there are two types of bacteriophages possible or virus life cycle possible lytic and lysogenic. In the lytic process, in the lytic phage process, the phage infects the bacteria, it will kill the bacteria and particles will be released. While in lysogenic process, after the infection of phage into the bacteria, they inject their DNA and bacterial genome is integrated with the virus genome because the virus genome which is inserted will be now integrated with the bacterial genome. So see here, phage enter, let me draw a phage particle here, phage particle here who start entering its own genetic material inside. So now the phage DNA is integrated with the bacterial DNA here. So now we have a lysogenic phase going on. In this case, lysogeny can remain for some, some sort of time, some time durations uh, when the environment is not proper for the phage particles to release. When phage particles think that environment is okay to release and come out, in those conditions this lysogenic is converted to lytic cycle and then they again destroy the bacteria and release out. So now during this whole process, occasionally sometimes during this processing of the prophage DNA, you know the prophage DNA? Prophage means when the viral particle DNA is inserted into the bacterial DNA. That genetic combination is known as the prophage. This prophage DNA exists there but sometimes what happens when the phage particle decides to take out its own genetic content, it sometimes grabs some part of bacterial DNA and leave some part of the viral DNA integrated with the bacterial cell. This thing might happen. Now if this thing happens during this packaging of the phage particles, some part of the bacterial DNA which is incorporated into the viral DNA will be packed into one of the head of bacteriophage. And then that bacteriophage, if it infects another bacteria, which in this case you can see, it is going to release the genetic con component again inside. And here, in this case, you see the part of the A plus gene is remained uh, while the prophage is separating from the bacterial DNA at that point. Uh, so this A plus is transferred to the new target bacterial DNA and A plus will be incorporated with the bacterial DNA. So earlier again this is the second bacteria, recipient bacteria, this first one is the donor bacteria. So the recipient bacteria was not have any A minus uh, any of the A or B gene but now they have A plus. So now they can produce A gene products easily. Now the major difference as you can see is the process of packaging of the viral DNA. Now if the packaging is almost pure, some part of them get the complete bacterial genome, this is the generalized transduction. But sometimes when they pack during the lysogenic phase and when they revert from lysogeny to lytic cycle, some part of the bacterial DNA remains along with most part of the viral DNA. And that time it is con conditioned as specialized transduction. So we can tell that generalized transduction occurs based on the process of lytic cycle of a virus while specialized transduction occur based on the lysogenic cycle of a virus and the conversion of lytic, lysogeny to lytic 
plays a vital role and the DNA packaging of phage head ultimately distinguish between the generalized transduction and the specialized transduction. So that in a sense is a major difference between generalized and specialized transduction. I hope this video helps you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel to get more difference video like that. Thank you.